In any community with more than 50,000 people, the federal government requires the creation of what's known as a metropolitan planning organization. Part of its role is to identify areas of cities that could benefit from an upgrade, especially when it comes to infrastructure and transportation. As our Donovan Lynch finds out, Bangor's latest plans could bring that city back to its historic roots. On a sunny fall day like this one, the Penobscot River looks more scenic than essential. But that could one day change. This region has a lot of potential to be a corridor for that freight. This fall, Bangor and nearby communities will consider a 20-year strategy to improve infrastructure and transportation in the area. At the center of it, a vision for Penobscot County as a future hub of commerce. There could potentially be freight connections, you know, by like semi-trucks or freight being moved on the water. Maddie Jensen is a planner at the Bangor Area Comprehensive Transportation System, a nonprofit tasked with creating the plan, known as Vision 2043. In it, the group is calling for a feasibility study into building an intermodal facility, essentially a cargo port on the Bangor waterfront. Jensen sees it as a future project with a nod to the past. Freight being moved on the water, which, you know, could be super historically significant in this region. For much of its history, Bangor's location was the source of its wealth. In the 19th century, the city was the largest lumber port in the world. After that industry left, the Penobscot River remained an important shipping lane, with barges traveling up to the Queen City. But in the past decades, in particular, in the Penobscot River, there's been dramatic changes. Captain David Jalinas has been involved in commercial shipping in the area for more than 30 years. He says that while the river has a lot of potential to reintroduce cargo on a larger scale, there are drawbacks to this vision. Obviously, ice in the river, uh, nighttime navigation is not always possible. So there's some challenges there to be sure. For now, it will be up to the citizens here to determine whether the river that runs through it should be a thoroughfare once more. In Bangor, Donovan Lynch, New Center, Maine. Under the Bangor plan, before any building of cargo infrastructure on the Bangor waterfront could happen, the Department of Transportation would need to conduct a feasibility study.